Pawan Lal, you've spent some time looking at these fugitive diamond merchants. You understand how their mind works better than most do. What's your sense of what's at play? So, you know, let me just say on the outset that uh, Mehul Choksi is somebody who's extremely talented at planning his uh, business, planning his life, and charting the course that he's uh, set sail on in the last few years. And I'm not referring to the years after he left the country and got citizenship in Antigua. I'm talking about his career starting from the time that he helped build Gitanjali up into a large uh, billion dollar listed company with over 30 different brands and uh, hundreds of stores across the country. In fact, Choksi has been singularly uh, brilliant at being organized and ahead of the rest of the field when it comes to planning his own direction and uh, charting the way that his company has moved if you compare how he built Gitanjali to the way that Nirav Modi, his own nephew, built his company Firestar, you'll see the vast difference. You know, Gitanjali actually managed to get listed very successfully. They had uh, uh, loads of brands that were very, very popular, whereas Nirav Modi couldn't manage to do all of that. I think the cracks started to show in uh, Mehul Choksi's business sometime around 2013 when the gold loan facilities changed in this country and banks suddenly could not front you as much money as they were uh, used to doing. And that's when you see uh, the the drastic fall in the share prices of Gitanjali Diamonds and his companies and the business starts to take a hit. Mehul Choksiri actually told me when I interviewed him sometime in 2014, 2013, that he wanted to move away from India because it was becoming difficult to do business. And he said it as a matter of uh, casual discussion. But it seemed to me that he was actually planning his moves even then. And I think, you know, what we are seeing right now, uh, as somebody earlier on this show clearly said, is uh, almost operatic in nature or a, a Netflix kind of a, a scenario with, you know, movie potential. But the reality is uh, Choksi has actually been ahead of the curve as compared to his nephew and the authorities. And I wouldn't be surprised if he has a few more surprises up his sleeve for us. Okay. Right.